today everybody is wondering why I'm at the fish market. I came here specifically to select all the food that we're gonna eat today with Chef Jama, the master chef. She will arrange the best dishes for us and select the best fish, best fish, <laughs> the best fish for us. Let's go. <laughs> for our cutlets. Okay. Now I tell you how you buy fish and how you should check whether it's fresh. Okay. Okay. First you see the eyes. Yeah. It should be quite clear and glowy, you know. Then you open the gills. Okay. See when you open the gills, it's red. This means this is really fresh. Okay. So we use these for the cutlets. Rice cake, uh, fish cakes. Okay, okay. This. Oh, that's what you use. Okay, very yeah. nice. Yeah, so this is the tuna. This is how you choose when the fish is fresh. Okay? Okay. Got it? Of course, got it. <laughs> Mario, how are you? Finally, I meet the real Mario. It's nice to have you on, man. Thank you very much. The only Mario I knew since childhood is the Mario with the mushroom. <laughs> and you're wearing red also today. <laughs> so now I meet you. Guys, I meet Mario after five years. And today he will tell us all the inspiration behind this great restaurant. And I heard a lot of good things about it. Grapsack as a brand is inspired by uh, the life that we did home, back home in like India. My wife is an amazing cook. And uh, she had a catering service back home. And with that experience, uh, we came here to the UAE. When friends came over to eat, they were like blown away and like they're like, Man, when are you starting a restaurant? I mean, with a lot of pressuring, in a few years, in about 10 years in fact, we said, okay, let's start Grub Shack and let's give a dream back to her. And that's when we started a small restaurant back in Saja and it was called Grub Shack. Why Grub Shack? Grub uh, with my friends on the street meant food, let's grab grub, you know, it's, it's like more uh, comfort food and shack is something that we went to a picnic or or a roadside joint, or, or like you know, a small daba is, is something that we call a shack. So it's called Grub Shack, a place where you can have a quick bite. And that's how we came up with Grub Shack. Hey, Jay, good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. I've been watching your show. I have uh, something special for you. Excellent. Bong, I heard a lot about your cocktails. I want you to give me the best bomb ever in town. <laughs> yes, sure. Yeah, salam, Tarangila Karta. What's in them? This is mango chili. Under the high cooler, it's a coconut flavor. Wow, let me try the mango chili to spice up your life. <laughs> mm. How does it taste, sir? Beautiful. Very Thank nice. Thank you. You have to try all of them. <laughs> so good, guys. I have to take it with me. Now I'm stuck between the woman in black, so I have to eat. Marushka, thank you for having me in the restaurant. Dorothy, the best fitness instructor that loves Indian food. I put you together and I'm gonna try and love your food. Sorry, I'm eating Arabic style, it's very delicious. <laughs> no, that's great. This is one of a very famous uh, Indo-Chinese dish, which is called Drums of Heaven. Um, and it's sauteed in a, a secret sauce, Jama secret sauce. And the prawn, what's that? And in this one is a prawn wonton, also okay. sauteed in uh, like a sweet chili secret sauce. Let wow. me try this. This one is called Double Dragon King Prawns. It's a little bit on the spicy side. If you're okay with that. Already I made a mess, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> spicy, huh? A little bit, yeah. Mm. Mm. So this is the kebab? Yes, so this one is kind of a festive special. We serve this during Ramadan. Oh. Uh, it's very famous back home. Very tender. In Bombay. Yes. What about this prawn, rock prawn or something? Like this, yeah, this one's called firecracker prawns. Uh, so it's it's deep fried crispy prawn, mm. uh, then tossed in in a sauce, a creamy sauce. So this is an award-winning biryani. We've got two versions of it. 
Uh, one is the king prawn biryani, and uh, this one is called the Tawa Tandoori chicken biryani. Mm -hmm. Then here we have something that's called uh, our jungli pulao, which is basically a shrimp uh, pulao. Looks like machbus. Yes, it is. Oh. It is. Um, and then we have here uh, our suicidal lobster. I love that. <laughs> this one's not for the faint-hearted though. It's very, okay. very spicy. So only if you can handle spice, I will uh, try one give it a here. try. Yeah. Um, and what then about we this have yeah, this is this is stuffed uh, a fried fish with uh, a typical Goan masala, which is called Rishad masala. Wow, I uh, love it melts in your mouth anyway. Yes, it's a very yes, light fish. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got uh, fiery wok prawns here, which has a little bit of Thai influence in it. Fish what do you crunchy. think? Crunchy. Yeah. I love the sweet and sour and the bit chili yeah. sauce on it. With a little that. spicy, a little sweet. Very yeah. nice. And what's the last dish there? Okay, so this one's called the wok charred beef. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you some. Oh, thank you very much. That's the beef here? Yep. What's the sauce in it? It's so unique. First time I, so I try this kind of sauce. Basically a soy sauce base. But uh, with a lot of pepper yeah, and um, that's what I can taste. Yeah, yeah. So Dorothy, I've heard you love butter chicken. What do you think about this one? Yes, uh, it's one of my favorite dish. Mm -hmm. dish. and it's really nice. It's really soft. Uh, the chicken. I like the sauce, and of course, the, the bread is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're ready to take a bite of the. I will suicide the lobster. There. After this, I'm going home. <laughs> <coughs> that's really hot. Hmm. Very nice, those. So hot, huh? Mm. It's one of our spiciest dishes, so. Oh, enough. I can't have more. <laughs> I need the yogurt. Thank you, Gemma, very much. The hidden gem gives you all those crazy and amazing dishes. Thank you. Papa's only eating, Mama's doing the cooking, and you do the talking. <laughs> all diet, yeah? No diet. No, come on. I don't, all dieting, she said. These are all feasting desserts. She's dieting, she said she... she <laughs> don't forget, she has a calorie. machine, no? She has a machine, which yeah. can lose it all. <laughs> Let me try this. This is a coffee, yeah? Yeah. To be honest, could be my, a lot of rose water, very rich. Yeah, this is a rose flavor. Different, different yeah, than the It's a rose cookie. flavor. We love jamun with no calories at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm. What did you These say? These are the typical crackers? Indian sweets, basically. Mm. For Indian weddings and all that, they serve it. It's like a crispy ras malai. Mm. You know the kids' candy when yeah, you put it in and it just like cracks in your mouth? It reminds me of like two years ago when I was young. <laughs> it's very light. And it's very healthy to, uh, ice cream. Healthy no sugar, sugar at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's keto. Yeah, keto diet. After the spicy food, you really need this. You, must eat it, yeah. you need this. So we basically grew up as child in our childhood eating this kulfi in the nights. So our, pay, our mom and all would say, if you eat well, we give you a kulfi. And around between eight to nine o'clock in the night, this guy would come, you know, with a pot on his head, saying kulfi, kulfi, moving around in the society. And then he would come down and open it. And uh, serving this stick is just for restaurant, but back then they just, it's in a form. So they just take it out, they hit it, they take it out on a beetle leaf, cut it, and then the whole, all the children would share from it. So it was a healthy dessert that we used to eat in the night. And purely with milk. Like there's nothing commercial in it, just milk and sugar. Thank you for sharing. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, uh, that's the third one or second one. I don't know. <laughs> I lost count. I'm too full. Chai, 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 chai. Chai, chai, chai. Yalla. So, like a Bombay style cutting chai? Of chai. course. Thank you, thank you very much. Wow. Enjoy thank your you. pizza. Thank you. ونهايتها مسك طبعا مع الشاي كرك لان لساني صراحه ما اقدر اطعم شيء بس اشم الشاي لان ماي تانج از تينجلينج افتر اول ذوز بيوتيفول سبايسز ذات اي هاد ان ذس ريستورانت اميزنج راب شاك ذي ديد ون اوف ذا بيست انديان ستريت فود ميكس وذ ايجن فيوجن صراحه عجيب لازم تكونوا تجربون بنفسكم وتتابعونا على فود اكس فيوريس ومع السلامه <تصفيق>